Hi, my name is Violet McLean and I'm the gallery curator here. Congratulations to all our artists, designers, makers, actors, dancers, event managers and performers who are all exhibiting here tonight and being celebrated. May I ask you all to have a round of applause and cheer for all our exhibiting students. We wanted to create an event that you'll remember for years to come and talk about for years to come. A night to make memories, students, and to say thank you very much for studying with us here at AUV. Tonight's event consists of ice cream, cocktails, and much, much more. We'll have music again this year by DJ Nandes, aka Gallery Will. So thank you, Will. In addition to our course summer shows, we'll have a poster exhibit in the South House ground floor curated by students for students. So thank you to Eliza Ledden, a second year BA Honours Photography student, and Millie Harvey, second year interior architecture and design student. In addition to this, we also have a farewell wall to my right, so please write your messages. We have a photography backdrop wall, just like you'd find in a nightclub to make memories and take photographs of your memory of yourselves tonight. We want you to make memories this evening, everyone, and especially our students. We have an outdoor family friendly theoretical performance which will be formed at 7 and 8, Alice in Kingsland. Thanks to events management. A huge thank you to everyone who's made this event happen tonight, so thank you. It gives me great pleasure to call upon our Vice Chancellor, Professor Paul Goff, to say a few words of welcome. Professor. Thank you very much, Violet. Thank you very much indeed. Good evening to everybody. What another, another wonderful night at AUB. What a, what a tremendous occasion this is in a, in a year that's been so, so wonderful so far. I'd like to welcome the Chairman of BCP Council, Councillor Leslie Deadman, the Worshipful, the Mayor of Poole and Mayor's Consort, Councillor Joe Clements and Mr John Butterworth, and the Worshipful, the Mayor of Bournemouth and Mayor's Consort, Councillor Anne Filer and Alderman Michael Filer. I'd also like to welcome a number of guests uh, that have specifically come for this occasion this evening. Our honorary fellow Mary Mullen, uh, the MD at West Beach, Andy Price and his wife, our Vice President of the Pool Maritime Trust, and a great friend of this organization, Peter Wirth and his wife Annabelle. I've got the chair of Pool Museum Foundation Board here, Felicity Irwin, Leslie Hay, uh, Vice Chancellor at AECC, James Knoll, Vice Chancellor from Solent University. Dorothy McKenzie, the Chair of the Board, is here. Lovely to see her. And our newest member, uh, Malcolm Grote, over here. Delighted to see you. Chris Martin, the ex Chair of the Board, is somewhere around here. Great to see you, Chris, and your family. And Claire Whitaker, another of our governors. And I am expecting any moment now our Chancellor, Professor Sir Christopher Frayling, who is probably here somewhere. Uh, Chris, if you're near the bar, just wave. If not, we'll have a conversation in a second. Lovely to see you all. A few words from me really, just to say thank you, just to say thank you, what an extraordinary few years this has been for our graduates, an extraordinary, but last night I had dinner, I had dinner with uh, all the Vice Chancellors from this region, now that's from Chichester across to Winchester, all in Southampton, Portsmouth and here in Bournemouth and BCP, and it was an extraordinary occasion, we don't often get together to get all the VCs here to show them what we do so well at AUV and to be able to you know, exchange ideas and stories about where we are as universities. And they all wrote back to me today in the most you know, full-spirited, generous way, which is rather wonderful to see. I'll quote very, very briefly. One wrote to me, I was blown away, blown away by the talent of your students. It must make you so very proud. That's such a, such a key word, isn't it, tonight, for the parents out there, friends, families, loved ones here. With your, with your students to see how wonderful their experience has been here. So I am very proud. I'm proud on so many different levels. I'm proud of being part of a global creative industry. In this country alone, it generated 115 billion in GVA in one year, that was 2021. Now that is greater in terms of GVA than aerospace, automotive, life sciences, and oil and gas sectors combined. Extraordinary, extraordinary level of a fiscal difference. I'm proud that our graduates are entering a workplace that is creating jobs at three times the UK average. There are two million creative industry employees in this country. I'm so proud that many of the graduates around us at the moment are already setting up their own business. One in eight UK businesses are creative businesses, and 95% 
of those employing fewer than nine people. They're almost invisible in the political agenda, but they are a huge part of this, this economy. I'm very proud of working at a university of global standing. We aim and we achieve the highest quality of achievement, of recognition and esteem throughout the world. We have students here from 58 countries, and they take the greatness of AUB back to their homes. And last month, talking of greatness, we had an Ofsted inspection. Always a bit of a scary experience at 48 hours notice, but we were rated outstanding. That is such a great achievement. It's so hard to achieve that, but that was our third visit from Ofsted in 10 years and our third gold medal. So it's such strong recognition of the quality of student learning and staff teaching here. So I'm proud of our staff, proud of the lecturers who are here, the technical staff, the professional, and thousands of visiting tutors and freelancers that bring currency and recency and life and the professional world into our student learning. I'm proud of our principle in our strategy of collaboration. And you'll see that as Violet talked about in Alice in Kingsland. Here we had 11 courses, 23 different students, working with three companies and two local charities. And they won the Nicholas Durbridge Award for collaboration, for working together, which is what the interdisciplinary world of creative industries values the most. And I'm proud of our commitment to civic engagement in this region in the three towns. I'm proud of the work we do with the schools. During foundation, 770 year 12 students came here to experience art and design, media, drama, and performance. Extraordinary kind of uh, organizational skill there. Proud of our online courses, we launched seven master's degrees online this year, reaching all over the world. Average age of those students is 32. We're reaching a very different demographic. demographic. And our first transnational education in Southeast Asia was signed last month. But above all, and I'll close by saying I'm proud so much of our students. I mean, what a few years they have had. What a few years. Two years impacted by lockdowns. They've become resilient, yet resourceful. And as you see here, and look at the work closely, resplendent. Resilient, resourceful, resplendent. So congratulations to all our graduates. You join a great family of AUB. You must sign in to AUB AN, which is our hashtag. Some specific thanks to close before we get on. I'm not going to have a drink. Thanks to Kevin Chambers and his team. Alicia and Scott. To Laura, to Will, to Eliza. To the marketing team and events, Lauren, Joseph, Charlotte, Naomi, Anna, Tom, Nikki, Sophie, Jim, Paul, Ricky and Tony. You're all part of the AUB family. There's one other person to thank, she's sitting right in front of me, uh, I'm doing the in terms of colour and yellow. It's a very significant year for Violet at the moment. Not only is she reaching a significant birthday, which is tremendous, she's also worked at AUB. 25 years, 25 glorious years, every single one a winner. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Violet. <laughs> Violet's not going to say a few words, but just want to say thank you very much, Violet. Thank you. On with the party. Thank you very much, folks. Good to see you all.